Hi everybody, this is Elamont, publisher of In 30 Minutes Guides and Cheat Sheets, available from the In 30 Minutes Cheat Sheet store. It includes Word for Microsoft 365 Cheat Sheet, and today I'm going to be talking about adding a table of contents in Microsoft Word for Windows. If you could take a moment to follow my channel or like the video, I would appreciate it. And we are using a Windows 10 laptop and Microsoft uh, 365 installed. Uh, Office 365, some people may know it as that. And I have this cute little document, it's about cats, and you can see I, it's a, just a couple pages long, picture of cats, a couple different, um, you know, different topic areas, question two, and then I have cat ownership statistics. And I want to add a table of contents. It's actually pretty easy to do that. Just basically go to where, where you want the table of contents to be added, uh, click your cursor there, and then go to references, table of contents, and you'll have a couple different options here. Um, you can do custom ones, but I just usually select the default. And you can see it added a um, Oh Joy Hairball Season is Here Again, page one. And you can see this is this is actually the top level heading. But you may be wondering, well, wait a second. Uh, you just showed me that there's uh, some more headings down here, question two, and then cat ownership t statistics. How come they're not included in the table of contents? Well, the reason is, is because these, this is just bolded ordinary text. And in order to make the, the table of contents work, it actually has to be um, using a heading. So I'm going to use my, on the uh, home, on the home uh, ribbon, I'm going to select a different heading here. So I'm going to use heading three there, question two. And then for cat ownership statistics, I'm going to select heading four. All right, let's do that again. So here is the table of contents I just did. You can update it if you want to. You can just click the button that says update table and update page numbers only or update entire table. Well, I want to update the whole table because I just formatted that text as headers, so I want those listings to show up. And there it is, question two. I'm not quite sure what happened with the question, the uh, cat ownership statistics. Maybe I have to format that as heading three. Let's see what happens when I do that. And then go back to the table of contents, click on it once, select update table. Yep, there it is. For more information on how to get the most out of Microsoft Word, we have the Microsoft Word for uh, Microsoft Word for Microsoft 365 Cheat Sheet. We also have um, Microsoft Word in 30 Minutes available from the In 30 Minutes Cheat Sheet store at cheatsheets.store or in30minutes.com. This is Ian Lamont signing off. If this video helped you, if you could like it or follow me on YouTube, I would be grateful, and I shall see you next time.